What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install, set up and update Manjaro Arm for the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, recently I posted a video talking about Manjaro Arm on other single board computers, but I've had a lot of people ask me about the Raspberry Pi 4 and I wanted to make a dedicated video so everybody can get this up and running on their new single board computer. Manjaro is actually based on Arch Linux, unlike a lot of the other releases for the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 4. Those are mainly based on Debian, like the Raspbian build that you can get from the Raspberry Pi Foundation's website, and a lot of them are based on Ubuntu. There is a bit of a learning curve, but it's not bad at all. If you were able to get Raspbian up and running on your Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 without any trouble, you won't have any issues transitioning over to Arch. As making this video, the Manjaro ARM build for the Raspberry Pi does not have GPU acceleration. It should be added in the future, but luckily Manjaro uses rolling updates, so it's very easy to update without having to reinstall the entire operating system. And like I said, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Manjaro, get it all set up, and I'll even go over updating the operating system and installing applications that aren't pre-installed on the OS out of the box. There's three main things we're gonna need for this tutorial. Obviously, a Raspberry Pi, one gig, two gig, or four gig will work, a micro SD card to install the operating system and run it on the Raspberry Pi, and finally, you'll either need another Windows PC, a Linux PC, or Mac OS, because the application we're gonna to use to flash this image works on all three of those operating systems. I'm gonna be using a Windows PC, because I already have it set up, and I know a lot of other people have access to one. All right, so if you're ready to install Manjaro on your Raspberry Pi 4, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I've inserted my SD card into my PC. I'm using a small USB to micro SD card reader. 32 SD card, that's what I've named it. My drive is I, just make sure you find the correct drive. Now we need to download the Manjaro operating system and an application to flash it. All links for everything I mentioned will be in the description. The very first link you need to bookmark is the Manjaro ARM forum. Now there's tons of help over here. Everybody's been really nice. There's lots of information about these single board computers and especially the Raspberry Pi 4. And I guarantee there will be more topics created in the near future. Now it's time to download the image. So we're just gonna scroll down until we find Raspberry Pi 4 XFCE. Now in the future, there could be a KDE version and that's a more feature rich desktop but I prefer using the XFCE on these single board computers. This is just the desktop interface that we're gonna be using, XFCE. Very lightweight, and it works great on these small ARM single board computers. We're gonna download this version here. Just give it a second to start up. And this is close to 800 megs. Now we need to download an application to flash this to our SD card. We're gonna be using Etcher. You could always use Win32 Disk Imager, but I prefer using Etcher. And I'm on a Windows PC, so I'm gonna grab the Windows Portable version. As Soon as these are finished up, I'm gonna place them on my desktop and we'll get right into it. Now it's time to flash the SD card. I have Etcher on my desktop and the image or the operating system right here. This is 19.08 for the Raspberry Pi 4 and it's the XFCE desktop version. We're gonna start Etcher. We do not need to extract the Manjaro image. Etcher's gonna take care of everything for us. So from within Etcher, we're gonna select image. That's gonna be our Manjaro arm. Make sure you have the correct SD card chosen. And click flash. Etcher's now gonna write the operating system to the SD card. Then it's gonna verify the file system and we'll be ready to move back over to the Raspberry Pi. This could take a little while depending on how fast your SD card is, so just make sure it's finished before we do anything at all. When Etcher is finished, you may receive some warnings like this. We're just gonna click cancel and close all of this out. Our SD card is now ready to be inserted into our Raspberry Pi. I'm also gonna plug in my HDMI, keyboard, mouse, and finally, power. So the first boot on the Raspberry Pi 4 is actually pretty quick and it's gonna bring us into this Manjaro setup wizard and that's what I like to call it. First thing we need to do is enter our username. As you can see, this can only be lowercase. You can enter additional groups if you want to. I'm just gonna press enter. I don't have any extras here. 
full name of ETA Prime. I'm just going to go ETA. Now we need to enter a password. This is going to be our user password. We're going to have to confirm that password by typing it in once again. Now we need to set up a root password. We'll have to confirm that also. Now we're going to choose a time zone. Locale. And finally, a keyboard layout. Now this is really important because all keyboards around the world use different layouts. I'm in the US, so I'm just going to press U on my keyboard. It'll bring me down to the U section. US. Now we need to set up a host name. I'm going to go with Pi4. Press Enter. Verify your username, password, host name, and everything like that is correct. And press Enter for Yes. It's going to resize the partition on the SD card. So now we're ready to log in and we just need to enter our user password that we set up. So we're now at the desktop. You can start using Manjaro from here, but first you might want to set up your Wi-Fi if you're not using Ethernet. Down in the lower right hand corner, there's a little Wi-Fi emblem. I know it's kind of hard to see here but you can go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi connection. You'll have to enter your password for your Wi-Fi, and you're now connected online. The very first thing I like to do when I install a new operating system on a single board computer is do an update. Manjaro uses rolling updates, and down here you'll see this little check mark. When there's an important update, it may turn green. We're just gonna left click on this. It's gonna bring up an update window. Now this is the easy graphical interface to update. We can go to updates here, it's going to check for us. So this is the easy way to update. You're just going to click apply. It's going to upgrade and update all of these here. Or we can do this through terminal. So in order to open up terminal, there's a little icon here. Or we can press control alt T on our keyboard. It'll bring up a terminal window. Since this operating system is based on Arch, it uses the Pac-Man manager. We're not going to type in sudo apt. We're going to go ahead and type in sudo Pac-Man. And for the update, we're going to type in capital S, lowercase y, lowercase u. Press enter, and this is how we can update through terminal. We're going to need to put in our user password. It's going to pull all of the updates and automatically install them for us. I personally like doing it this way, but there's really no difference between this way and using the graphical interface down here. When this is finished up, it'll let you know and we can go ahead and close down this terminal window. Manjaro already comes pre-installed with a ton of applications that we can start using right now. In the lower left hand corner, there's the Manjaro symbol. We click on this, it'll bring up our application window. We have our recently used, all, accessories, education, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, and system. So I'll just go to office here and it has the full Libra Suite pre-installed, ready to go. If you want to install a certain application that's not pre-installed with Manjaro, there are a few ways we can go about this. We can use the graphical interface by going down to the Manjaro emblem, system, add or remove software. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And we can search for, let's say, GIMP. It's a free image editing software and it's really handy to have on your single board computer. So here it is. You can install it directly from here if you'd like to, or we can open up Terminal and install it from there. So to open up Terminal, Control alt t Remember, we're using Arch here, so we'll use the Pac-Man Manager. sudo pacman, capital S, lowercase y, GIMP. It's going to prompt us for a password. Now we need to confirm we want to install GIMP. Press Y, enter. It's going to pull the package down and install it for us. Using the graphical interface is much easier and you're going to find pretty much everything that you need in there. But if you wanted to do it through terminal, this is how you do it. We're now finished installing GIMP. We'll go down here, graphics, and we have GIMP installed, ready to launch. can start using it now. I'm just going to close it down. 
You also have Firefox pre-installed. You can install Chromium through Terminal or the graphical interface here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I know I recently created a Manjaro video using the Odroid N2, but I had a lot of requests for the Raspberry Pi 4 version. There's a lot of new users to the SBC world because of the Raspberry Pi 4, and I just wanted to make sure I covered this specifically for the Raspberry Pi 4, so anybody who wants to install this can get it up and running in no time. All links for everything I mentioned will be listed in the description below. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. But remember, the Manjaro ARM community is open. You can go sign up. And there are a ton of people over there that know a lot more about this than I do. And they'll be willing to help. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button. Maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.